I really had a lot of fun reviewing this particular research in regards to resveratrol helping preserve muscle mass in this particular animal model in regard to microgravity. One, we get to have a playlist now in regard to nutraceuticals or supplements uh, for space travel. Two, a lot of the research that comes out of NASA, uh, often people don't really draw a connection of the real world application. Let's say for example, without adding too much publisher bias. So we take resveratrol and it can help preserve muscle mass in regard to microgravity or arenas where you can't have resistance or resistance exercises. So let's say a person's taking a long trip or they can't make it to the gym for a long period of time or even other cases of medical immobility. Now you begin to see the arena where the research in regard to space flight can have real world application at least in regard to this particular study without any too much publisher bias in regard to resveratrol. With no further ado, let's get right into the research as follows. I'm going to be reading from two particular publications because they both highlight important parts of the research but a little differently. One is going to be from the American Association for the Advancement of Science and Science Daily. Two great publications to proceed as follows. Red wines resveratrol can help Mars explorers stay young. Nutraceuticals that preserve muscle and reduce gravity will support long-term space missions. To quote, Mars is about nine months from Earth with today's tech, NASA reckons. As the new space race hurdles forward, researchers are asking how to make sure the winners can still stand when they reach the finish line. First to Mars. A new study shows that resveratrol substantially preserves muscle mass and strength in rats exposed to the wasting effects of simulated Mars gravity. Studies usually show, for example, within about two weeks of microgravity, you could lose up to 20% of your muscle mass. To proceed as follows. A strong candidate is resveratrol, a compound commonly found in grapes, skin, and blueberries, but they keep on referencing it to red wine, that has been widely investigated for its anti-inflammatory, anti-oxidative, and anti-diabetic effects cool effect in regard to uh, diabetes and reservations of muscle mass as well in recent animal models. Resveratrol has been shown to preserve bone and muscle mass in rats during complete unloading analogous, analogous, analogous to microgravity during space flight. So to quote, we hypothesize that a moderate daily dose would help mitigate muscle deconditioning in a Mars gravity analog too. In this pilot study, Two dozen male animals, half lived under normal gravity conditions as a control group, while the other half were exposed to Martian gravity, which is about 40% of that on Earth. Half of each of these groups received 150 milligrams resveratrol per kilogram of body weight. Now, also as a side note, too, there's, this amount worked. Uh, in certain studies, they used as much as 700 milligrams per kilogram. So they're still going to try to find that sweet spot in regard to how much resveratrol is going to maximize the benefit. But to proceed with the study here, these are 150 milligrams per day, while half did not. As they hypothesized, the scientists found that after two weeks living in partial gravity, all animals experienced muscle atrophy. However, they also saw that the animals that received resveratrol supplementation maintained both front and hind limb grip force, a metric that rapidly declines when animals are exposed to partial weight-bearing conditions. This part is just fascinating. I like to see more. Uh, now there's a hypo they hypothesized why this happened, but still, it's just counterintuitive. Additionally, resveratrol supplementation led to a significant increase, remember we're talking microgravity environment, in muscle weight, myofiber, or muscle cell size, and a protection of muscle composition. Here's my hypothesis in regard to that. A likely factor here is insulin sensitivity. I apologize, hypothesis in regard to how resveratrol does its entire thing in regard to microgravity as a whole. Resveratrol treatment promotes muscle growth in diabetic or unloaded animals by increasing insulin sensitivity and glucose uptake into the muscle fibers. This is relevant for astronauts who are known to develop reduced insulin sensitivity during space flight. The anti-inflammatory effects of resveratrol could also help to conserve muscle and bone and other antioxidant sources, such as dried plums, are being used to test this, so on and so forth. So you have a really, really interesting hypothesis here in regard to resveratrol. Why does it do what it does 
in basically a microgravity environment. But not just that. So for those who don't have the, the ability for space flight, still, and again, without adding too much publisher bias, meaning my own opinion, that's not tested. Uh, maybe you can help individuals which are in a state of immobility or lacking the ability to find time to exercise on long journeys, so on and so forth. In any case, incredible, incredibly enlightening information coming out of NASA-funded research that I just find fascinating, as well as having our first playlist in regard to space flight and nutraceuticals. Again, Raptor Channel signing off. DOI citation and the links will be there to the full study as well. So you're more than welcome to purview on your own and make your own judgment calls. And again, anything else that comes up like this in regard to space flight or space travel, we'll include in the playlist as well in the near future. Again, we're after channel signing off. Thank you very much for listening. Subscribe if you like. There's no other way for us to inform you of when new videos come out. And every seven days we come up with a new one. I'll catch you guys later on. And thank you, thank you very much for listening. And see you all the next time. Bye.